Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You're listening once again to the hour of the time. I'm William Cooper. I want to uh, start off here just by uh, letting you know that <coughs> we're having a sale on everything in our catalog. Now, if it's not in our catalog, it's not on sale. Don't call. Don't ask. I'm going to say this again. If it's not in our information pack, in our catalog, it's not on sale. Veritas is the only thing in our information pack that is not on sale that's in that pack, okay? Veritas is not on sale, and everything else that is not listed in our catalog, in our information pack, is on sale. So I'm going to give you some prices. If you have a pen and paper, and you should never listen to this broadcast, ladies and gentlemen, Without pen and paper, well, I thought something was wrong there. Once again, I had the wrong button pushed. <laughs> I'll get used to all this new equipment eventually, folks. If you have a pen and paper, you can write down these prices. If you've been waiting to purchase anything in our catalog, we're getting ready to redo our catalog. We're gonna we're gonna get rid of some of these things. Uh, some of these things we only have a few left, and we're not gonna offer anymore. So, uh, and pretty soon we're gonna be closing out. All of our 1995 uh, tapes, the masters will be retired. We do that um, every year. We retire the masters for the old year. So pay attention, folks. And if you want something, and this sale will last exactly two weeks, and your order must be postmarked within the two weeks. So this sale will end with all letters postmarked on the Monday, two weeks from today. Everybody understand that? If your order is postmarked Tuesday after two weeks from today, we will not honor the sale. So make sure that you get your orders postmarked within the next two weeks. Again, the sale ends two weeks from tonight. Okay, so it will end on that Monday, two weeks from now. All orders must be postmarked within that period. It's a 20% off sale on everything. Okay? Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. Let me see here. For my book, Behold a Pale Horse, instead of $25 postpaid, for CADGI members, it's $20 postpaid. If you're a CADGI member or an IS member, that's an intelligence service member, it's $20 postpaid. All others, $24 postpaid. That's all others, $24 postpaid. Uh, Annie, I don't understand your shipping. It's, come here, please. Annie? I don't understand your shipping and handling here. Where is it? Just hold on, folks. I want to make sure I give you the right prices. You didn't say that was for the book. Okay. For the book. And this is for the book only, right? Um, for everything. For, what do you mean for everything? It's not for tapes. No, not for audio. audio. Then what is it for? For the book. Here, I'll do this tomorrow. Get that off. Never mind, folks. I'm not going to give you stuff if, if it's not clear to me. I know it's not going to be clear to you. So uh, I'll just give it to you tomorrow night. It's, it just wasn't clear to me what the shipping and handling was for foreign orders and uh, uh, and a few other things. So we'll do. I'll give you the sale prices tomorrow night. I'll sit down with Annie and we'll go over it and we'll make sure that it's all right for you guys. Okay. Now 
Uh, later on in the broadcast, I'm going to take calls, but right now, i got something to say here. <clears throat> I have a friend. I don't agree with everything this friend says or does, but nevertheless, he's a friend. He's also a good, honest man. He's doing what he believes is right. And a lot of what he's doing, I also believe is right. He has taken a stance for the truth in his religion. And I'm a man who has taken a stance for the truth. And I know that once you take a stance for the truth, you will be viciously attacked and destroyed if they can destroy you. Many people have tried to destroy me, and they still try. And we have been knocked way down and punished and tortured, and I've been physically... injured badly on several occasions. So I know the cost of telling the truth to any honest man who has the guts to stand up and do it. And the same thing that has happened to me throughout my life is now happening to my friend. And I'm speaking specifically about Mr. Tex Mars. I have told you on this broadcast many times that if Jesus were to return to this earth today, he would not recognize nor approve of nor enter into any of the established organizations that call themselves Christian churches under any circumstances. He just wouldn't do it. They don't even teach anything, even closely resembling what Jesus tried to teach us. They don't practice even what they preach. <laughs> it's pathetic. Tex Mars took a stand to tell the truth about what was happening within the Christian church and within the Christian religion. Now again, let me state clearly, I don't agree with all of the things that Tex Mars teaches. But I don't agree with all of the things that anybody teaches, and all of you don't either. Many of you don't agree with what I do on this broadcast. But you do know one thing about me. You know that you never have to wonder where I stand. You know that I'm always going to tell you the truth as I know it, as well as I know it, and I'm going to source it and document it for you. And you may like, not like the manner that I do it. You may not like my personality. You may not like a lot of things, but you know that about me. And I know the same thing about Tex Mars. So I don't have to agree with everything that he teaches or everything that he says to help this man because I know that he's a good man. And I know that he would never do anything to hurt anyone upon the face of this earth ever. I know that about him. I know that if I ask him something, he's going to tell me the truth as, the, as well as he knows it. And he's going to back it up. And he's going to source it. And he's going to document it for me. And if it's in the Bible, he'll break out the Bible and he'll show me the passages. I know this about the man. And I'm not doing this because, Chris, uh, because Tex Mars is a Christian either. You see, I have many friends who are honest, true, and truthful men and women whom I would do the same thing for should they be in a situation where they needed it. So it has nothing to do with anything other than this is a good man who is an honest man who is trying to tell the truth about what he is particularly involved in. And people are trying to destroy him because of it. And so I want to try and help him. And if you can find it in your heart, I want you to do the same thing. Now I'm going to read to you what he sent me here. He says that soon after Wanda and I founded Living Truth Ministries, my books climbed to the very top of the Christian bestsellers list, and I know that to be absolute fact. The largest television and radio programs invited me to speak to their huge audiences, but the men who controlled these giant organizations warned me not to expose evil and con corruption within Christian ranks. If you do, they threatened, you will be blacklisted and shunned 
Bookstores will stop selling your books. Your ministry will be finished. That's a direct quote, ladies and gentlemen. And I know who said that. Soon afterwards, a large Catholic group invited me to speak. We'll sell thousands of copies of your books, they boasted. But there was a catch. I was told that I had to change my teachings and publicly accept the Vatican's doctrines about the apparitions of Mary. I refused, and they withdrew their invitation for me to speak. Next, Paul and Jan Crouch's Trinity Broadcasting Network, which I have told you many times for not telling you the truth about Christianity or about Jesus Christ or his teachings. I have told you that. Next, Paul and Jen Crouch's Trinity Broadcasting Network, TVN, informed me that I could not appear on that network again unless I agreed not to negatively mention the names of other Christian leaders. I refused, and they too withdrew their invitations. Same thing has happened to me. I'm not supposed to say anything bad about the so-called patriot leaders that I know are teaching you bad things or wrong things or are working directly for the enemy in the promotion of the Hegelian dialectic. So I know what Tex is going through here. Same thing happens to me. I get letters from a lot of you who don't know your, you know what, from a hole in the ground. Wanting to know, why can't all you guys just get along? Because, ladies and gentlemen, I will not accept dishonesty. I will not accept people who tell you lies. I will not let people that I know are Trojan horses working for our enemies mislead you. If you all were to turn against me, I would still speak the truth. And Tex Mars is the same way. I respect him and love him for that. For the truth is more valuable than anything. Seek ye the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Nothing else will do it. Nothing else will do it. No fantasy land, no dreams, not following something because it sounds good. But the truth. He goes on, many of the men who delight in calling themselves prophecy teachers and who prosper from so-called prophecy conferences held around the nation also invited me to their galas. But they too privately warned me not to expose the heresies and corruption within the official Christian establishment. I also was forbidden to openly defend the King James Bible. Jack Van Imp, in particular, grew angry because of my exposure of his involvement in Roman Catholicism. The Trinity Broadcast Network prophecy teacher sent me a hot and angry letter reminding me that his ministry had sold many thousands of copies of my books. The bottom line? He would never again offer my books. Tex Mars was to be punished because he had fearlessly told the truth. Standing firm for truth against error and heresy will cost you, ladies and gentlemen. It has cost me. It has cost Tex Mars. It has cost every man or woman who has ever, ever done it in the entire history of the world. They used to burn people like us at the stake. They used to chop off our heads and impale them on pikes at the city gates. Tex Mars, his ministry has lost literally hundreds of thousands of dollars in book sales. He has been repeatedly lied about and smeared. And he does not regret even one tiny bit. In fact, this is what he says. Quote, I am thrilled at the tremendous opportunity God has given us to spread the word of truth, as our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ so magnificently put it, for what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? He 
He goes on to say, In fact, I have found that with each stand I have taken against the corrupt giants of official Christendom, I have received incredible spiritual blessings. That's not all. Faithful men and women in smaller ministries and many good Christian lay people have drawn even closer to me, encouraging me, praying for me. I thank God for their loyalty and discernment. Now, folks, what I would like for you to do is write the text, ask for a copy of his newsletter, Flashpoint. And I also have in my hand his new book. It's called Circle of Intrigue. He sent me a copy, as he always does, and he autographed it for me. Bill, all God's best, text Mars, Daniel chapter 12, verse 10. This book is about the hidden inner circle of the global Illuminati conspiracy. In this book, Tex has independently, through his own means, verified everything that I have ever been teaching you in my whole life. I only disagree with a couple of things in this book, and they're minor things, so they're not even worth mentioning. If you can find it in your heart to help support Tex Mars' ministry, because he's a good, honest, truthful man, if for nothing else, Please send him a donation of $15 and ask for his book, Circle of Intrigue. If you don't have any money, just write him a letter. Ask for his newsletter, Flashpoint. He'll send that to you for free. But folks, he's not going to be able to operate very much longer if he doesn't get some support because he's been blackballed by all of these people who are lying to you and leading you down the primrose path into a new world order under a one-world religion headed by the Pope in Rome. I wonder how many of you can still spell protest act, protestant. I wonder how many of you really want to be ruled by a man who has openly stated don't go to God for forgiveness. Come to me. The Pope said that. How would you like to be ruled by a church that has literally changed what has been handed down through to us through the ages as the Decalogue, the Ten Commandments? Changed the commandments of God. Now, if you don't believe it, you look in the original Old Testament, what is called the Torah in the Jewish religion, at the original Ten Commandments handed to Moses by God, and compare that with the Ten Commandments written and dictated by the Catholic Church, by the Vatican. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not railing against Catholics I know there are many good Catholics, many good Mormons, many good Jewish people, many good Christians. I even know a lot of good atheists, believe it or not, who would never hurt anybody in their life, don't want to hurt anybody. They live in this nation, they love it, because this is the land of freedom. Freedom. Where as long as you're not hurting the person or property of another person, it's nobody, nobody's business what you believe or what you worship. And that's the truth. So here's the address for Tex Mars. Ladies and gentlemen, please help him out. And when I do things for people I don't like, the only reason I'm doing it over the air is because I can reach a great number of listeners. Please don't write Tex Mars and tell him that I asked you to do this. I want you to do it out of the goodness of your heart, if you do it at all. This is the address, Living Truth Ministries. Living Truth Ministries. And remember, if you want Circle of Intrigue, this is a fantastic book. It's uh, over 300 pages. Send a donation of $15 and ask for Circle of Intrigue. If you'd just like to make a donation, send a dollar or two. If you'd like a copy of his newsletter, 
write and ask him for it. But write to Living Truth Ministries, 1708 Patterson Road, 1708 Patterson Road. Once again, 1708 Patterson Road, Austin. That's Austin, Texas. All you guys can remember Austin, Texas, and if you forget, don't worry. All they look at is the zip code anyway. Once it gets there, then they look at the street address. They never look at the city or state. The zip is 78733. 78733. That's Living Truth Ministries, 1708 Patterson Road, Austin, Texas, Seven eight seven three three. and take calls, ladies and gentlemen. For all you new listeners and those of you who have not written down the number, it's 520-333-4578. That's Speak louder, please. Uh, yes, Mr. Cooper. I'm calling from Cleveland, Ohio. How are you? Very good, sir. How are you doing? Good. Uh, Mr. Cooper, uh, I've been listening to your radio station, uh, your radio program now for probably three to four weeks now. Uh, you have a lot of interesting uh, topics that you uh, have discussed, uh, particularly on the Illuminati, on Freemasonry, and the New World Order. And uh, I would like to uh, offer a suggestion uh, to you, Mr. Cooper. Um, I am a Roman Catholic, and uh, I don't particularly agree with some of the things uh, that you have said about the Roman Catholic Church, but I would like to say one thing. Uh, Mr. Cooper, uh, I am a Christian. Uh, I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe that he is the way, the truth, and the life. And I believe in the times that we're living in right now, people like yourself and I, we need to join together. We need to work side by side. <laughs> we need to feed the hungry. We need to clothe the naked. I mean, we need to, uh, we need to bring Jesus Christ to this world because this world is lacking love in the most serious way. And, uh, I would like to offer an opportunity to you. I would like to come down sometime and 
uh, evangelize with you, you know, work with you. This is this is this is one of my pet peeves. Number one. We're not all ever going to come together for a long time. Ultimately, I think we will. I think we have to. I think the world will ultimately come together as one, and I believe that the Bible talks about that, doesn't it? Yes, it does, sir. In fact, all the religions on this earth have a story about at some future date there will be a great chaos, if you will, and then a coming together of all of the people. That is correct. But it's not going to happen today. It's not going to happen tomorrow. It's not going to happen next year. In fact, it's not going to happen in a hundred years. People are basically flawed. They're selfish. They're bigoted. They're tempted. They have egos that need to be stroked. If they're not treated right when they're young, they have a tremendous sense of insecurity. And they have to constantly draw attention to themselves. And in doing that, sometimes they make up stories and cause situations that hurt other people. Now, we should all strive to make ourselves better and to, to slowly chip away at these differences. If we try to take too big of a chunk out of this, we're going to hurt people. People have a right to be different. They have a right to believe what they want. I have no problem with what you believe. Right. Well, what, what I'm saying... But you should have no problem with what I believe, and there should be no reason unless I ask you that you would ever even desire to come and evangelize to me. Well, no, no, I'm not asking... No, I'm not asking to come to evangelize to you, Mr. Cooper. I'm asking uh, to come down to where you're, you're broadcasting from, wherever you're out of base out of, and uh, to go out to a, to a shelter and to feed the hungry to talk to those people who have no place to live. Uh, well, I'm, not, I'm not talking about coming to evangelize to you. Well, I'm sorry. I, I misunderstood then because that's what you said. Oh, no. no. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm saying you and I joining together and, and witnessing Jesus Christ to other people in, in one Corinthian... Well, you see, that's... I don't do that. Well, I, Jesus Christ did not do that. But Jesus Christ witnessed to the truth. Jesus Christ went out and he taught whoever wanted to come and listen. He did not go out and try to capture audiences or try to uh, get people in shelters that were poor and because they were poor and they had to be there and couldn't leave, listen to him. He didn't do those things. And if somebody passed by, he didn't yell after them and tell them they were going to hell because they didn't stop and listen to him. Right. Well, what I'm what I'm trying to say, Mr. Cooper, is the, what the, the 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 solution to the world's problems is simple, but yet it's so difficult. Yes, it is extremely simple and extremely difficult, and it is the nature of man that makes it difficult. Nothing else. And, and it's the lack of love. Love is patient. Love is kind. But you have to understand that love doesn't come easy. No, it love is a product of your entire life. Some people cannot love. Things have happened to them in their life that has made them cold and hard, and they can't love. What are you going to do with those people? You, you could be kind to them. You could be merciful to them. I already am. They slap me in the face. They I knock me down. They kick me. I, they send me letters full of such filth and hate you can't even imagine it. Right. I, I, <laughs> I mean, in the end, there are three things, faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. And I think that's the most important thing that the world needs right now. And the best thing that we can do is witness. To well, I, I, I've got to tell you this. The, what the world needs more than anything right now, in my estimation, and I might be wrong, but so far, I don't think I am, is truth. Truth. The truth about all things about everything. And the first thing that people have to be willing to be truthful about is themselves. I've got to let you go because I've, I've had you on longer than I normally ever have any callers. But Mr. Cooper, I appreciate your time and God bless you. I'll be praying for you. Thank you for calling and thank you for your prayers. I always need and appreciate those. I will do that. Good night. Bye-bye. 520-333-4578. Folks, the solution to the world's problems are just not that simple. And they never will be for a long, long time. We're, we're, we come from too far apart, all of us.
Good evening. You're on the air. Mr. Cooper, thank you for mentioning Tex Mars. I have corresponded with him, and I do believe he is a man of integrity. I uh, at least have to admire anyone who replies with a three-page handwritten letter. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, for the sake of, of Tex, and the reason I'm basically calling uh, just to... Uh, um, rattle the cage again uh, to anyone that might uh, be, uh, possibly help us uh, with the expose of Bo Gritz because Tex, I heard him on a recent broadcast uh, that he had been in communication with uh, with Greitz rather and had told uh, uh, Greitz now is peddling the line that he has converted from Mormonism to Christianity and uh, people that I have told this uh, refuse to uh, uh, to believe that the Greitz is really a, a mason and that he's uh, uh, really a wolf in sheep's clothing. Well, uh, we have on tape so many different religions that he's claimed to belong to that I, I just don't believe anything he says anymore. In fact, I have so many tapes where he contradicts himself blatantly. He wrote in his... He wrote, about me, he wrote in his book that I stole a tape from a guy named Lars Hansen of uh, Dallas Re the truth about the matter, and that I never sold the tape, and that somebody called in to ask uh, why I wouldn't sell the tape. Bo Greitz said, well, maybe Cooper cares about copyrights, and maybe Cooper won't sell the tape, but you send me $10 and I'll sell it to you. And he started selling that tape, Lars Hansen's tape, for 10 bucks to anybody who wanted it from that point on. Well, I waited about two or three more months, and after I, and at that time, Greitz was my hero. I, I was one of his greatest supporters. I would show his, uh, his videotape of the Kunsa thing and all my lectures and everything. And then when I saw that, that nobody complained when he sold the tape and everybody was clamoring to have a copy of this tape, then we went down and made a D2 copy and had 100 copies made. And we sold them for $16 a piece because that's the only way we could get our money back. You can't make money selling videotapes unless you make huge quantities. And the D2 copy uh, just by itself was $250. So anyway, uh, that's just one of the things that, that we can, uh, I mean, we have so many, just so many, it's unbelievable. But anyway, I don't want to get into that. Tex has a right to like or dislike who he wants. I've told him the truth as I know it about the situation, and uh, he'll have to discover it on his own. Surely, I, I realize that. I just wanted to point out that uh, the Greitz is now peddling the line to a, a number of uh, fundamentalists that he has given up Mormonism and has fully embraced Christianity. Well, you know, when you give up the Mormon Church, the Mormon Church always excommunicates those people. I wasn't aware. That's correct. And they have never excommunicated Greitz. Oh, okay. Interesting. One more item, please. Uh, Media Bypass, an article you mentioned on the uh, tie-in between the Christian identity and the militia. Has no. that article ever come out yet? No, and we may have been successful in stopping it. Wonderful. It was uh, something that Larry Myers uh, disclosed at a dinner in Oklahoma City uh, where there were uh, at least six witnesses that I uh, positively know of, and... Uh, the, the dinner was taped. So he was planning an article along those lines. And I think that by revealing it, we have stopped it. Um, I posted on my private internet list, which you must subscribe to to get it, um, what I, uh, my understanding of, of the witnesses' recount of that evening. And uh, our Oklahoma City station chief also posted a message recounting um, uh, part of that evening and some other things. And uh, would you believe that Larry Myers actually called WWCR threatening to sue them for what I had posted on the Internet? And he also threatened to sue them for what I said about the, uh, 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 the articles printed in, uh, in the media bypass that uh, I discussed on the air. And uh, so these people, you know, these are hypocrites. They, they can uh, write about anybody they want to or anything they want to, but if you criticize them, uh, then all of a sudden they put the pressure to sue. They're not going to sue me, and they're not going to sue WWCR. You see, that's just a ploy to try to make us stop. Does, uh, but I will never stop telling the truth. I don't care what they do. Yes, sir. Uh, media Bypass advertises on the uh, Tom Valentine show. Uh, I, I, I presume from that that there is a close tie-in there between Media Bypass and the Spotlight. No, that's not true, because Tom Valentine made the statement to a friend of mine that uh, that uh, 
that made me understand that, that he has some questions about that magazine also. <laughs> and I'm not going to repeat it uh, because I have no business speaking for Tom Valentine or anyone else. Hey, but anyway, you. thanks for calling. Good information. Bye. 520-333-4578. Good evening. You're on the air. Hi, Bill. How are you? Good. Who's this? Oh, this is Susan in Grand Rapids, Michigan, one of your most favorite fans. Hi, Susan. What can we do for you? Um, I have a question for you. I've been really wondering about Transformation of America. I know that you have done hours on NK Ultra, and I have not read the book yet, but I have read some excerpts in the Free American newspaper. I've never seen the book. What is it? Uh, it is supposedly the true story of Kathy O'Brien. Forget it. Kathy O'Brien belongs in a mental institution. Really? Oh, yeah. She's claimed that she's been taken to the White House and to all the prominent senators and representatives in Washington, D.C., and they all had sex with her and right. all kinds of perversions, and uh, it's just not true. So yeah. what is the motivation? Is this some sort of disinformation scheme? I have no idea. I don't even care. I mean, when things get that wacky, I don't even care about them. And anybody who falls for those th that kind of stuff uh, deserves whatever they get. Well, you know, Bill, we really try to take your advice, too. Listen to everything. Ferret it out for yourself. But first you've got... Yeah, I understand. But first you've got to apply the common sense test, as my grandmother always taught me. If it doesn't pass the common sense test, you don't have to go any further than that. Well, the, we, the, the, the assertion that this girl can get on radio and with no uh, obvious mental scars or problems whatsoever, talk about having been brainwashed, have her personality split into several different uh, uh, personalities, and then taken by these high-ranking government and, uh, officials and uh, used as a sexual slave for years through a whole bunch of different administrations. Um, and, and let me tell you something. These people, don't they may be crooked, and they may be out to get every buck they can, and they may be trying to take us into a new world order, but they're not stupid. Are you familiar with this Mark Phillips guy that she said rescued her? No. Okay, so he was supposedly an intelligence insider, whatever that means. Well, depending on who's talking, it could mean everything or nothing. Right, right. No, I don't. I've heard his name. Some people have sent me some, some research that he's done into the, uh, the mind control programs themselves. And what they sent me is true. The CIA did participate in mind control experimentation and actual operations and projects. That's true, and anybody can document that. But nobody can document what this woman is trying to tell us uh, that, that, that she believes uh, happened to her. Have you ever... And, and to tell you something else, the, the way she dispassionately, with no emotion or anything, talks about it, I don't believe she even believes it. <laughs> well, have you ever come across any, uh, now one of the accusations that she made, and I don't know if any of what she is putting forth is true. Um, but I'm telling you right now, it's not. Okay, I wanted to ask you if you'd ever seen any documentation yourself or in your own life experiences that NASA has been involved in any of this mind control stuff. Not to my knowledge, and I have done probably as much or more research uh, as anybody. There may have been somebody who's done more research in the NASA than me, but uh, um, I I don't know who they who they might be. I know there's a lot of people who have done as, as much and are still engaged in research into NASA. But uh, I've researched NASA from its inception right up to the present day, and I've never found any signs of, of uh, participation in any mind control operation. But I have found a lot of, uh, of um, absolute uh, deception uh, foisted upon the American people in the space program. Well, I just want to say thank you. You are so terrific. If you weren't married, I'd be hitting on you. But um, anyway, you are. So I sent you a big packet of mail and a tape I made for you, so keep an eye out for it. A tape of music, which okay. is just pertinent to some of your shows. And keep up the good work because we just all think you're great. Well, thank you. Don't get along with everybody. Annie is standing over here with smoke coming out of her ears. Yes, she is. I know. <laughs> well, you know, she's a lucky lady. What can I say? Well, I think I'm a lucky man, to tell you the truth. I believe it. Well, thank you very much. Okay. God bless you in all your endeavors. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. 
520-333-4578. There's a lot of scams out there, folks, and there's a lot of baloney. And most of them, you don't have to do any research. If you want to, to soothe your mind, uh, go ahead. But most of it, all you need to do is give it the common sense test. How many presidents did she say? <laughs> oh, come on, folks. Can you imagine Nancy Reagan allowing Reagan to have sex with this this um, escapee from a mental institution? Good evening. You're on the air. Good evening, Bill. This is Gary from Wyoming calling. Hi, Gary. Now, you know, back in October when we had that Amtrak derailment down there in the south of Phoenix there, uh, I was the one that made a call to the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office and then the FBI afterwards. Uh-huh. And we also made those calls. I'm sorry? I said we also made those calls. Yeah, well, I followed suit and did it the next morning. I posted it on the Internet about it. Did anything ever come out about that note on the Gestapo, uh, sons of the Gestapo? Uh, nope. Only, only AP claimed that they that uh, they had a copy of it and printed it, but the FBI has never admitted that that was a copy of any note that they ever found down there. I see. I didn't get to hear your program I, afterwards. And let me clarify. At least to my knowledge, they've never admitted it. Uh huh. So oh. I don't I don't know if it was a real note or not. Yeah. But I'll tell you this, there is no such thing as sons of the Gestapo, never was, and, and if there ever is, it'll be a pack of fools that would ever pin themselves with a name like that. Yeah, somebody sure slipped up when they put a, you know, made that up on that. Well, I, I don't think anybody did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, what I mean is, you know, uh, why would any patriotic group want to call itself sons of the Gestapo? The only people that have any interest in doing anything like that is the ADL. Yeah, I agree with you. All right, thanks a lot, Bill. You're welcome. Good night. Good night. 520-333-4578. Good evening. You're on the air. Oh, Bill. Yes. Yes, this is Kevin Sawyer from uh, Toledo, Ohio. Uh-huh. And I have a question. Uh, I, at one point, was a member of the Rosicrucians. Uh-huh. Uh, and I was a neophyte. And uh, at the time... Uh, Sirhan Sirhan shot Bobby Kennedy. Uh, well, <laughs> they say he did. Well, yeah, that's the point I'm trying to get to. He fired some shots. Okay. Let's put it that way. Uh, and, and I heard, and I can't remember where I heard it from, that he was a member of some secret society. And, uh, from there, or in fact, I heard he was a member of the Rosicrucians. And at the time, it kind of freaked me out, so I kind of dropped the Rosicrucians, because they, at that point, in the neophyte... Uh, yeah, but what's your point? What are you getting to? Well, the point I'm trying to get is that as time went on, I read in uh, the Detroit Free Press or the Detroit Times, one of the two, that as they went into his apartment, they discovered a bunch of letters and a bunch of notes saying, kill Bobby Kennedy, kill Bobby Kennedy. And they tried to poo-poo the connection that he could have been a member of the Rosicrucians. And the point I'm trying to make is, uh, is there that I notice you don't touch on this too much, but the occult side of the brotherhoods, some people that are masters at control. What are you getting at? Come out with it. You don't have to lead up to all of this. Okay. Just ask the question. What is it you want to know? Uh... Are there individuals that are adept in controlling individuals through mental processes? Absolutely. And part of the and that's part of the deception that they could get individuals to do certain things that they might not want to do. Watch some of these preachers on television on Sunday morning. They're doing exactly that. Well, you got a point there. <laughs> yes, you do. You got a good point there. Okay, well, uh, I guess that's all I want to say other than you're doing a great service. Uh, there's no way I can thank you, and I'm sure there's people out there who feel the same way, that without you, a lot of this would collapse sooner. I really believe that. And God bless you, and God protect you and your family. And keep on the good work. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I sincerely appreciate those sentiments. Well, you're welcome. Thank you, Tyler. 520-333-4578 is the number. Good evening. You're on the air. Oh, hello. Uh, this is John from Sacramento. Hi, John. Hey, I want to ask you about two or three questions, if I may. Go ahead. 
Well, I heard you about uh, talking about the Catholic Church, and I'm not a Catholic, but I'd like to know your opinion on Zionism. Are you pro-Zionist? No, I'm not pro anything. <laughs> what do you think of Alfred Lillian Saul's book, uh, The Zionist Connection? Have you read it? I believe that international Zionism is just as bad as the heart and soul of the Vatican, is just as bad as the Masonic uh, control of the Southern Baptist Church, and all of these other things. I believe that most of the organized religions in the world today do not exist to help the people who follow those religions, but to control them. And at the present time, they are herding them into a conglomeration of all religions that will emerge as one with the Pope at the head in a new world, one, uh, one world totalitarian socialist government. Are you aware that David Ben-Gurion says the Jews will be ruling the world? Uh, that's baloney. Well, what do you think of it? I know it's baloney, but what do you think of it? Are you I, I think so it's, I think it's baloney. Well, are you are you in favor of that? So, I mean, you think he means what he says? I, it doesn't matter. It will never happen. Yeah, Sorry. well, I heard you say the Catholics control the publishing houses. Did you say that? No, I didn't say that. I don't know what radio broadcast you've been listening to, but I suggest okay, maybe you... Maybe I got it wrong. I can assure you, absolutely, you got it wrong. Well, you know who does control the publishing houses? Who? The Zionists. Oh, get out of here. You know those... Wait a minute, that's the truth. I've checked it out. It is not... the world with it. It is not the truth. Yes, it is. I've been to Russia. I've been to London. I just turned off your pot so you can yell and scream all you want to. This is my broadcast, and don't try to yell when I'm talking. It is not true. They are publicly held corporations for the most part, and anybody can own them. If Jews own them, it's because all of you other dudes didn't buy stock. You got that? You understand? I heard you. Who owns the Federal Reserve? Tell me who owns the Federal Reserve. The Rothschild Group and Warburgs. That baloney. Who owns the Federal Reserve? But you know that all stock has to be revealed publicly? You haven't even checked, have you? Oh, yes, I've checked. Okay, who owns it? Read the book by Stanko. Have you ever read it? No, no, I ask you, if you checked with the, with the Federal Exchange Commission, who owns the Federal Reserve? They won't tell you. You have to read books by uh, Stanko. Good night. They have to tell you. It's the law. Five two zero three 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 four five seven eight. Folks, one thing I can't tolerate, and that's bullshit, bigotry, racism, and impolite people. Good evening. You're on the air. Hello, Bill. Yes. Yeah, I'm calling about the uh, the golden plates of the Book of Mormon, and uh, there's about the pyramid sh shape. What about it? Well, for the people that'll know. It says, when the 21-year-old Joseph Smith, 1805 to 43, walked down the pyramid-shaped little hill, Kumarah, near Palmer, New York, on late September 9, 1827, he brought with him the beginning of a new religious idea. What's your, what's your connection between the pyramids, the Illuminati, and who wrote no, no, no. <laughs> No, you got to have facts. you got to make connections. You can't say because this guy's got a pyramid, then it's the same as this guy over here has got a pyramid. Well, you got to take it easy. I'm just, a, I'm just a quiet person. My intelligence is limited. I haven't. Uh, believe me. You've been listening to broadcasts. This is, this is the bullshit that they're teaching kids or whatever. you got, you got, you, you got, to, you got to take it easy on us, Bill. You're too, damn, you're too hard. No, I'm not too hard. People will live up to what's expected of them. If I come down to the level of the lowest common denominator, nobody gets better. So you, you, don't you see, if I accepted the tenet that a five-year-old child is not ready to learn, then my daughter would not know 90% of the things that she does know that most other five-year-olds in this whole nation do not know because I expect her to learn it. So you don't believe that the pyramid shape has anything to do with a, like a signal to uh, that religion? It depends on the context that it is used. When my daughter... I believe it's a signal to the Illuminati that... that no, 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 no. We don't deal in stuff like that. We talk about facts on this broadcast. Do you? Yes. Well, will you say that you're not one of them? Do you really think I am? No, I don't. Then why would oh, you? No. Even, why would you? Why would you say? Why would I say that? Well, because if there's ever a war started in this country, it will be. They will control both sides. That's right out of your mouth. Well, then, if, if that's true, then why would I say it if I was one of them? Why? You don't even make any sense. Go back to bed. Get a first grade reader and start all over again.
and don't expect me to come down to your level. No, you come up to mine. If you can't come up to mine, go somewhere else. Turn off your radio. Go follow Bobo. <laughs> Good evening. You're on the air. Uh, yeah, turn the radio off. Um, I wanted to ask you uh, about two names, uh, Joseph Newman and Dennis Lee. Do you know anything about those two guys? It doesn't ring a bell. Uh, uh, they have a free energy. Oh, Joseph Newman, yeah. Uh, the next time you see Joseph Newman, mm -hmm. ask him if his free energy device is running the, electro the electricity and the heating and, and all of this stuff in his house. Okay. If he tells you no, don't buy into it. Uh, if it really works, why is he paying the utility companies? That's true. Yeah, it's true. You see, common sense. My grandmother was right, wasn't she? Yes, yeah, she was. Yeah, you better believe it. Try it sometime. You'll like it. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> what about Dennis Lee? I don't know anything about Dennis Lee. Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to send you an article in the, the uh, Free American. Maybe you could comment on it in the air in a future show. We'll send it along. Yeah, I really appreciate your show. Thank you. And uh, God bless. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Bye. <laughs> Yeah, most of these things can be solved with common sense, folks. If I had a free energy device that could do what some of these people say that their free energy devices could do, do you think I'd be hooked up to the telephone company? I mean, excuse me, the electric company? Do you think that I would uh, be... Uh, good evening, you're on the air. Yeah, Bill, uh, is there a, a book or compendium of, of any kind that lists... Uh, the high degree, uh, 33rd, maybe 32nd the degree in Masons and politics. Uh, you have to dig that out yourself. Go to the library. Go to who's who. Write these people that you want to know. Ask them to send you a resume. Okay, that was... Some of them reveal their membership. Some of them don't. Remember, these are secret societies. If they don't want to tell you, there's no way you're ever going to find out except by watching them and observing if they use the secret signs. And you have to know the secret signs. I... I understand it, but, but no one has written a book, you know, on that particular uh, venue. Of, what did I just tell you? No, you uh, you told me how to find them. The, uh, That's right. Going to the library. That's right. You have to dig it up. There is no magic bullet, secret answer, or easy way to do anything. Okay. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bye-bye. 520-333-4578 is the number. Folks, the reason that our children are so dumb, and the reason that America is being dumbed down, and the reason we're in the situation we're in today is somebody along the way dropped down to the level below them instead of demanding that others below them come up. I won't let you down in that respect. And you can get mad at me, you can call me names, you can write me nasty letters, you can do whatever you want. Good evening, you're on the air. Yeah, hi. I read a book called The Keep and Bear Arms by Bill R. Davidson. Yeah. And I was wondering, he's from Arizona. It was written in the uh, 60s. It was a very interesting book uh, about militia and uh, what's happening to our uh, military and whatnot. And I was wondering, do you know this guy? No, I don't. Okay, because a lot of the things he was saying in this book, it was printed in uh, 69, um, is some of the things that you're saying, and it supports what you're saying. I hope so. <laughs> I'll see um, if I can't get another copy out to you then. Pardon? I'll see if I can't dig up another copy and... Uh, I would appreciate that. It's called To Keep and Bear Arms by uh -huh. Bill R. Davidson. Yeah, there's a lot of good books out there about the second article and amendment, the right to keep and bear arms, the militia. You have to look for them because they're not politically correct. A lot of bookstores won't carry them. Sometimes you have to demand that they order it for you. Uh, and sometimes you'll find them on the shelf. But you, you know... Go for it. Yeah, I usually uh, dig around secondhand bookstores, garage sales, that kind of stuff. I found uh, some really good books on the Constitution that were taken out of a local high school library up in Connecticut. Those are jewels. They're trying to get rid of those. Anything about the Constitution or the early foundation and principles and ideals of this country, uh, they're seriously trying to get rid of them. If, if, if uh, we would allow it, they would uh, hold a mass book burning tomorrow. It's interesting because I went to the, my my co community college library and tried to find some resources on it, and I found that I had more for the hundred bucks or so I spent at this bookshop. Um, I had more in my living room than they had in the library, much more thorough. Mm -hmm. and, they, and they are jewels, that's for sure. Yeah. 
And the older they are, the more truth and the, the more valuable you will find the information inside. Thank you for calling. Thanks a lot. 520-333-4578. Good evening. You're on the air. Yeah, Bill. This is Roger from Baker's Hill. Hi, Roger. Hi. I was uh, listening to a program uh, several times on radio, and it was about a fellow by the name of Peter Kowaja. Do you know anything about him and the story he tells? Um... Yeah, some of the stuff that he tells rings true. Some of the stuff that he tells uh, we have investigated and we absolutely know is not true. Uh, a lot of the things that he says about sick people in the military, he has made the statement on radio many times that there are whole military bases where people are sick, and he names the base. Yes. And we send people to the base and nobody's sick. I see. So, you know, you have to follow these. You cannot believe what you cannot believe what I tell you unless you investigate it. Right. You must listen to everyone, read everything, believe nothing unless you can prove that it's true. Seems to me like this guy would be pretty hard to investigate, though. He's not hard to investigate at all unless you believe his story. <laughs> hey, well, that's what I want to know. Thank you and God bless you. You're welcome. 520-333-4578. Good evening. You're on the air. Yes, my name is Bill from Great Bend, Kansas. Hi, Bill. The back of TechSmart's newsletter has an article about the Olympic Games being a satanic extravaganza. It made me... That's not what it says. Oh, well, to turn the, the prayer, yeah. Well, it reminded me of... What it says, and I quote, See, why, don't, why do you people do that? Misquote people and take people out of context because, you see, there are people out there who will believe what you said, and they'll go repeat it, and they'll say Tex Mars said it, and Tex Mars didn't say it. He didn't write that in his newsletter because I'm hand holding it in my hand. Well, I'm, I'm looking at it right, too. I guess I'm just not reading it very carefully. It says, What special ceremonies, rituals, and symbols are conceived for the 96 Olympic Games in Atlanta, Georgia, to turn this premier athlete athletic event into a satanic extravaganza. Well, you're right. You do help us all sharpen up our mental ability. God, I hope so. Somebody's got to. And I'm not attacking you personally. Well, it reminded me of the closing ceremonies in Barcelona when the torch was extinguished. They set up all kinds of little fire pots, and there were bunches of dancing little demons jumping around, and it was really eerie and terrible. Yeah, well, I, I expect this Olympic Games in Atlanta, Georgia, which, by the way, is going to be held on the 33rd parallel, to literally uh, blow your mind if you understand the symbolism of the mystery religion of Babylon. It's going to be the first great ceremony that ushers in the coming New World Order. And from what I understand, um, well, you'll just have to wait and see. The, the protection and the security uh, is going to be provided by the probably the greatest conglomeration of military police and foreign uh, police that, that, that you've ever seen in your life. Sir, you're a great steering voice to a lot of people. I want to thank you. Well, you're welcome. Sir. I'm, gl I'm glad to hear the remarks you made about Tex Mars, because I've sometimes wondered if he's not maybe working from the other side. No, Tex is uh, absolutely honest and legitimate, and he's telling it like it is, and um, he, he has exposed the ones who really are working for the other side, and they're trying their best to... Uh, to squash his little ministry, and um, if they're successful, uh, I look around, I don't see too many others out there telling the truth in the Christian religion. I don't see a whole lot of people telling the truth in the Judaic religion. I don't see a whole lot of people telling the truth in any of these religions. Well, you sure give us all a lot to think about. Thank you again. Goodbye. You're welcome. Good night. And good night, folks. That's it. And God bless each and every single one of you. Oh,